Hello everyone, good afternoon. My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. The weather is appalling. It's been nothing but raining since this morning. I've just been out to the local co-op, which is the Rochester Riverside. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 12.49 p.m. So guys, I've just been into the co-op. I haven't seen Kim in a long, long time. And Kim was working in there today. The lady with blonde hair with bits of grey in it all down her shoulders. We were having a chat and it was Kim that spoke first and Kim said that her dog had wobbly front teeth, wobbly front teeth, she said that an ultrasound, an ultrasound scan on her dog and bloods would cost over £2,000, I've had a pelvic scan and I'm going for a blood test tomorrow come what may nothing's going to put me off so two thousand pounds for an ultrasound scan and blood tests on a dog that's what i've just been told i know um i know vets are expensive because when i first got married uh, we got two dogs from Cheltenham Animal Shelter and they had contracted mange, mange, uh, within the uh, Cheltenham Animal uh, Dog Shelter, whatever you call it, they contracted mange, mange and me and my husband at that time were both working and it cost us a fortune to get these tr dogs treated for mange and they had to have special tins of food which costs a lot more than normal tin dog food in the shop so I know about vet's fees so one of her dogs has got wobbly teeth so guys um, why I went I saw the post lady in her Australian glittery hat walking down Corey's road and I thought well the post lady's been and my mum said that she sent me some money yesterday and lo and behold my mum sent me some money so we've got three stamps on the letter two King Charles and one Queen head and they've all been crossed off so they can't be used again so let's read what my mum sent out yesterday it's got here it's actually got here by the Royal Mail Snail Post 6.43am in the morning Monday 11th of March 2024 my mum wrote this what was she doing up at quarter to seven in the morning <laughs> dear Janestra just a quick letter to let you know that I'm thinking of you Janestra I haven't been able to get down to the post box until today things are still the same whatever that means I don't know what she means by that here and I expect things are just the same for you. Enclosed is da da da. I'll keep in touch with you by writing to you and telephoning you from time to time. Bye for now. Love, Mum. My mum's an old lady. Why is she up at quarter to seven? I don't know what's going on up there because I don't live up there. But she's far too old to be getting up that early. It's me that's been getting up early because I'm usually waking up, woken up by the neighbours or the bin men. Circus Zaire, the hop farm, Maidstone Road, Paddock Wood. VIP guest voucher to the Circus Sire. 
I don't drive. I, I mean, I, I mean, I could get the bus. I, I need to get at least two buses to Maidstone or the train. Wednesday, twenty seventh of March, Monday, eighth of April, the circus. Yeah, I'd like to see a circus, but then I think circuses are cruel to animals. I don't like them. I don't like them. I don't like it. Sorry, I won't be going to that. Something I don't like is a, is a circus. Performing animals, don't like it. British Gas. Miss Crystal Marshall. Dear Miss Marshall, I have tried to contact you on the 8th and 15th of February 2024, but unfortunately I was not able to reach you to book in the Smart install. I would like to let you know that I have now closed your complaint with no further action. If you would like to discuss this further or, or any questions, please contact us on the neighbor, number provided. I'm not going to show you all my details. Yours sincerely, Gillian. Pay as you go complaints. Gillian. 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 Chokes Road, Dagenham. Dag is an Australian dog. Who remembers Dag Dog? On um, I think it was Home and Away. Dag Dog. Dag is a dog. Australian term for a dog. Australian term for a dog. Alexa, what does Dag mean? As a noun, dag is usually defined as one of a series of decorative scallops or foliations along the edge of a garment, cloth, etc. For more, ask me to give you more definitions for dag. Well, I know that there was dag dog in, uh, I mean, I'm old enough to remember one of the first episodes of uh, Home and Away. Dag dog. Alexa. Who was Dag Dog? Sorry, I don't know that. Sorry, I have to look up a home and away. Let me have a look. I, I've got to prove all this to you. Home and away. Dag Dog. Dag Dog. I will prove to you that I've, I was bullied by this guy in Australia on YouTube called Pies I Go. Listen to this. So, what is this come from? Dagenham. Dagenham. Listen to this. Dag dog was the Fletcher's family pet dog in the late 1980s, early 1990s. Mostly he was heard barking outside or referred to by the other characters. Home and away soap opera. TV dog stars. Rex, Inspector Rex, Brian, Family Guy, Dogs, TV Dog Stars, Brian, Family Guy, Eddie, Frasier, Bouncer, Neighbours, Dag Dog, Home and Away, Wishbone, and it goes on to Stella. So there's a dog called Brian, is there? In a soap opera. Wow! We're really getting somewhere and close to the truth now of what's been going on, haven't we? Not just for me, but for someone else as well. And this guy in Australia that threatens me, Crystal, also threatens somebody else. But uh, trying to have me run over on the pavement, 
Really? Really? I'm going to now show you what I got from the co-op. That's my post. So British Gas, shitty fucking letter. I'm not going to do anything about installing my smart meter. But we'll have to get in contact with the ombudsman. I've now had a response from British Gas. So we're now going to take that to the energy ombudsman. British Gas. Couldn't they send me an appointment in the post or text me an appointment for a smart meter installation? You are going to the ombudsman, British Gas. Yes, you are. Because once they've responded to a complaint, you now can take it to the ombudsman. And that's what I'm going to do. The Sun, Tuesday, March the 12th. Lay off Kate. Today the Sun says this to all the social media trolls, idiotic conspiracy theorists and sniping media critics. Lay off Kate. Their furious attacks on the future Queen over her photoshopping of a Mother's Day family picture are not just absurd. They now look like a bully end campaign against a devoted mum recovering from a serious operation. So the doctored photograph of Kate with her children, it's been edited. Kate apologised apparently because she's edited this photo. Um, I don't know what the hoo-ha is about. Either Kate isn't well, she isn't well, she's had an abdominal operation, right? She's just put a photograph out for Mother's Day. There's a big hoo-ha about it all over the internet. Um, people have a right to their opinion. It's not necessarily trolling, people are just expressing a right of opinion. Other people's mothers have operations, grandmothers, dads, grandfathers. People have operations all over the world, right? And some of us live very harsh lives. We don't have money where we can hide away. We don't hide away in private hospitals. We have to, some people, uh, like myself, after giving birth to my um, fourth child, um, I'd given birth, I had nobody to help me, I didn't give birth in a private hospital, I was told that no one was going to drive me to the post office to get my electricity or gas, so I had just given birth to my baby, and I thought my electricity was going to get cut off, so I'd just given birth, about four or five hours later, I was waiting a queue in Gloucestershire post office, right, nobody had any sympathy for me, and there's millions of other women that go through all the stress and dramas that I've gone through with no help and support. We don't complain, we don't get upset, we just get on with it. It's a photo for God's sake. It shouldn't even be on the front page of the sun. Haven't they got anything better to put on the front news of their front page of their newspaper? Yes, I feel sorry for Kate. She is a beautiful, wonderful princess. She is going to be a future queen. But there are other people out there suffering. Now, I will go on to the rest of my shopping. Life is harsh. Kate is very lucky. So, we've got some Lucozade energy drink, Blue Burst. This is apparently new. Blue Burst Lucozade energy drink. Um, I always get my yuzus, strawberry and banana and chocolate. We have thin sliced chicken and thin sliced ham. We've got some bananas, which I haven't had in a while. I fancied a banana. I didn't have any breakfast this morning. We've got some Bassett's Jelly Babies. We have a tuna with mayonnaise on white bread sandwich. 
we have half white and half wholemeal flour bread, medium, Warburton's. I also got some deodorant, bright bouquet for females, deodorant. And we've got some Pringles, sour cream and onion, all my favourite. Right. And I thought I'd have two Kit Kat chunkies with peanut butter. Kit Kat chunkies. And for lunch, because all I've had at the moment is chicken soup. So for lunch, we have a rollover hot dog. Kim normally gives me sauce or mayonnaise. She hasn't, so I'm sure I can find some sauce in the cupboard. Right. I didn't take my camera into the co-op. It's raining and it damages the phone. My phone doesn't work in very well in this weather. I managed to get a four minutes, but then it cuts off. Couldn't be bothered with it. Walked into the co-op. So they knew I was going into the co-op. My mum had sent me money. And I had no choice. I was hungry. I, mean, I would be grateful for a, a jam on toast. I was starving. So I'm going to eat my hot dog in a moment. Um, walk into the store. There's a big, large female with glasses. Large. And she's giggling. She's giggling with Kim. Giggling, laughing. <laughs> giggling. 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 Very professional. No one at the counter. They're both stocking shelves. Fair enough. I could hear them chatting together and they don't like they don't like serving customers obviously because I heard them talking they don't like serving customers at the counter oh no not, not, it's not me this time oh no the one with the glasses said oh no not me this time so they don't like one of the self-assessment checkouts went off. They need someone to verify someone's age. And the one with the glasses went, oh, it's not my turn, is it? Oh, no. Just wanted to talk and chat and not serve the customers, look. I heard it. It's not nice, is it? Anyway, Kim served me and she was talking about a dog that had had an ultrasound scan and a dog that was needed blood and it came, cost £2,000. Wow, so how much does it cost for a human then to have an ultrasound scan and blood? I don't rise to the bait. I've already got cross once this morning with blokes. And I'm a woman. What do you think of people that call someone a dog? What do you think of people that call somebody a dog? when they look like a dog themselves. It's jealousy, it's spitefulness, and I take no notice of it. And they're not going to stop me from aiming high, because I'm not going to aim low to the dregs of the bottom that bullies and trolls are. Don't start bullying me I'm going back to Kate Middleton, right? She's protected. She's got security looking after her. She's also got a car. She's also got access to private health care. I was nearly fucking run over on the pavement. Walking on the pavement this morning.
sure she doesn't have to put up with weed smokers either. And the Sun newspaper, I mean, really, is that a story? Is that a story? There's thousands of people dying in this world of poverty, malnutrition. Um, there's wars going on and that is the best thing you could put on the front of your fucking newspaper. Really? See you later.